joined together of two wives in holy matrimony, better known as marriage. Jessica and Mark, in this blind love experiment, you chose to get engaged and spend the rest of your lives together with someone you had not seen. True love group. Not from what you look like on the outside, but what you saw on the inside of each other. Jessica, I want you to know that no matter, well, the ups and downs, the highs and lows, is that I love you. I feel that TV on. Hey, which is crazy to even say is like. What's up, Soul Squad? Yes, she always late, y'all. Always, always, always late. Hello, 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 hello. Why oh, everything just looks so blurry? Glasses time. What's up, SA Graphic? Good morning, Charlene. Hey, Latoya. That's Miss Campbell, if I mess your name up. <laughs> hey, Lois. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Amy. Hey, Karen. Back at you, Karen. Hey, Lee. Who y'all? It is hot. We having some good weather in D.C. Hey, Aunt Trinise, it is hot right now. Hey, Shannon, it's time to turn the heat off. I'm glad to see you too, girl. Hey, Mo Thomas. Hey, Shante. Hey, Janine. Hey, Asia. Hey, Denise. Hey, Dante. Hey, Miss Kelly. Y'all, it's hot. I was like, and then I got the oven on because I got this cake in the oven. Y'all, I woke up late. I'm not even gonna lie. People that was here on the live, what's up, Rita? Hey, Jeanette. Hey, Mason TV. Hey, DC Queen. Y'all, happy birthday, Shante. Happy birthday, honey. Hope you have a great weekend. We are having good weather today because it's hot in my house, okay? Thank you, um, Lords. It is hot in here. I got the oven on, the heat on, something got geared because the girl's sweating underneath the net. I was like, whoosh, it's hot. It must not be good outside because I think it's going to be like 64 or 60 or something. So y'all know the tides are changing. It's not getting dark until like 530, 540. If, if your state, because I just find out Georgia don't. Georgia don't do the um don't do um daylight savings time. My cousin live in Georgia. She said they don't do daylight savings time down there. But you know, we about to have daylight savings time. Um Don uh, who's that? Miss Watts to answer your question. I am making Kentucky butter cake. I am going out for Valentine's Day. My cousin is throwing a little swell. What's a soiree? Soiree? Soiree, soiree, or whatever. It is I don't it's, I don't know if it's couples or whatever, because everybody there is a couple. I don't know. I'm so low. T is so low, so it is what it is. Um, but um, so I gotta bring dessert, and so I'm making Kentucky pound cake. I'm going out for the Super Bowl, Xavier. I'm not gonna be home. I I I don't I don't really do Super Bowl like that. I'm going to a Super Bowl um event. Um, I'm going to a Super Bowl event tomorrow, so I don't know what they're doing there. I'm doing fine. Whoever say how my favorite woman doing. <laughs> um, so um, I'm going to a Super Bowl event tomorrow. So yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, they did when I did that. Yeah, but my cousin told me she's been there for um, this her second year, and we were talking about daylight saving times the other day on the phone. She said, "Girl, they don't do that down here." I said, "What?" She said, "They don't. They don't. They don't recognize daylight saving times." She said, "And it's my second year here." I said, "Why?" Wow. She said, "It take a lot to get used to, cause you know she from DMV." I've been doing good, Rita. How about you? No, they don't. They don't, they don't, they don't. I mean, it's because I don't think. Hey, Tennessee, Nikki, what's up, boo? Hey, David, I'm going out for the Super Bowl. Thank you, Janine. I'm going. Um, I'm going over. I'm going over friend's house for Super Bowl. Um, I think when it's not their teens, they don't really get into the Super Bowl scene. Like my son Michael. Um. <laughs> no, uh, hey Seattle girl, 
Oh, but you know what? I should take some to my friend house. I don't know. I might take some to my friend house. Because you know, I know, know tomorrow's Sunday. And I do my Sunday dinner vlogs. So I got to cook Sunday dinner before I even go to my friend over, over to her house for her Super Bowl thing. And... And the only thing I'm doing, I have my Sunday dinner vlog, bird, what I do every Sunday. Uh, and I'm making chicken and rice. They, uh, uh, thank you, Latrina. You ordered my book. So I'm making chicken and rice. Um, Autumn, I'm not cooking today. I am actually going out to dinner. Um, I got a cake in the oven. Yeah, star. Thank you. I was drinking before I came on. Uh, uh, thank you, Rita. I got a cake in the oven because I'm taking dessert. I'm making Kentucky butter cake. So that's in the oven cooking. And then at 3 o'clock, guys, don't forget, I am going to be on DC Kool-Aid and Lisa at 3 o'clock. And then right from there, I got, I'm got i gone out the door because I'm supposed to be where I got to be at 5 o'clock. I got your book, too. Oh, thank you, Star. <laughs> and so... um. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be on DC Kool Aid and Lisa Real Talk, their their YouTube channel. And hey, Shorty Red, and I'll be on there at three. So I I I kind of like poster woke up at um eight o'clock this morning. Then put this cake in the oven, y'all. I ain't wake up until ten ten, and it wasn't for my my one of my best girlfriends calling me and my phone being in my ear. I still would have been asleep. I ain't go to bed till six o'clock this morning, looking at this day gone love is blind. I was on the phone with my cousin who live in Georgia. I was on the phone with her till two o'clock in the morning. Me and her got the phone. It was one fifty five. She said, "Girl, I gotta go." I said, "Me too. Let me get off this phone." But me and her was on the phone talking about, "Hey, Stacy, good morning." This uh, oh, this Shadonna. Yes, it is Shadonna, DC Queen. Okay, I forgot to change it. And um, the weather. Uh, I said the weather. And I, I'm looking at this Love Is Blind, the first season. Oh, you ordered my book. Oh, the one for your sister. Thank you. And um, the second one, um, season two dropped. And I never looked at season one. Y'all, I got looking at Love is Blind. I ain't going to be at 6.30 this morning. So I look at the time. I say, okay, it's 6.30. You can get up at 9 o'clock. You get up. You get up at 8 o'clock. Sleep for two hours. Get up at 8 o'clock. Uh, thank you, Rochelle. And get up at 8 o'clock, put this cake in the oven. The cake took an hour and an hour and 20 minutes, 90 minutes to cook, an hour and 10 minutes to cook, or something like that. Um, you could do this. And so I was like, yeah, I could do this, I could do this. Y'all, if my friend hadn't called me at 10 10, it'd have been, I'd have been all out here and got up and said, oh my God, it's 10 10. I just put the cake in the oven about 20 minutes ago. It's in there. It's cooking. It's doing its thing. And so, hey, Ty, what's up, Ty? What's up, boo? And so I said, let me get on, on the couch. So and then I could do um, DC Kool Aid and Lisa thing, uh, real talk interview with them. And then I could um, get dressed, be ready by 5 o'clock. Even though my event started at 5, I'm going to be fashionably late, okay? Probably get there at 5 30. Okay, but let's talk about, and I know the day, the day was supposed to be, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to step into real quick, talk about my book, Shadonna, DC Queen. Look, boo. I wrote a book. And this is, I'm going to talk about two things. I want to say, y'all, D.C. is wilding. I don't know about it because of the weather changing. I just want to talk about that because, oh, before we get started, it said, are you going, let's say, are you going to talk? Are you going to do a book discussion at some point? Um, I'm going to bring that up too. I'd like to thank God for waking me up and spending another day with my family and friends because that long clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Cause remember that long clock he wake it up. But I must say this morning, I know God, he let me hear that ring. My friend and God woke me up this morning, okay? Because God woke me up. He let me hear that ring. Without for him, my eyes would not be open. And then as soon as and that ring, 
and God put it all together. Girl, get up, girl, get up, get up, get up. I was like, girl, I'm so glad she called me. I was so glad she called me. But yeah, I want to, I'm going to talk about the book. And then I'm going to talk about DC. I don't know what's going on in DMV. Look, I told you guys once before. I don't really like watching news because it's so much things, so, so, so many things that's going on right now. It's like my state, my place, I'm mean not a state. Where I live at, other states, my cousin tell me about things going on in Georgia. She's sitting on the news down there and then stuff going on here in the DMV area, shootings and stuff. I'm like, I don't know. Are we ever, ever going to get the handle on people killing people man i just got the worst news this morning that a 54 year old woman got killed off the vision avenue off the vision avenue in the car with her sister and her eight-year-old son in the truck her sister was driving her sister taking her home from visiting her her sister taking her home back to Maryland. As they cross the Vision Avenue, the woman gets shot in the head in front of her sister, in the, in the truck, in front of her eight-year-old child. Who get killed going from your sister's house to home, minding your business, just driving? And I'm like, this thing is so unreal. And then um, somebody was, yesterday my son was telling me about how a 12-year-old boy, a 21-year-old boy killed a 12-year-old boy for making fun of him. Apparently, I forgot what state Joshua said this happened in. He was telling me, he said, you hear what happened to the 12-year-old boy? I said, what happened? He said, well, his brother's friend killed him. I said, his brother's friend killed him? He said, yeah, apparently they were, um, his girlfriend put him out. He's, a, he's his brother's best friend, his oldest brother's best friend. They let him come stay with them. They were playing video games, cracking jokes. The 12-year-old was cracking jokes on the 21-year-old about his girlfriend putting him out. It was Chicago, okay, putting him out or whatever. So the boy shot him in the chest, and then he fled, but then they caught him in another state. What the fuck? How do you kill a 12-year-old a 12 year old if you guys are joking and joking on each other? You got into your feelings and you literally pulled out a gun, shot your friend's brother. People who open their home up to you, they've been knowing each other since the third grade. The two friends, the brother. How do you do that to somebody? A nine-year-old shot in Houston in the race. I'm just like... And I'm just like, what is going on? Then we talk about this. They found this woman under un, in Virginia, um, under underpass, dead. They found this woman under underpass in Virginia, and I just like, this is why I don't watch the news. And I'm just like, I don't know. Shake. I'm just. I'm like. I'm like. It's too much. I say, what is the weather changing? Do people feel that it's getting warm? Are they about to stay in the street longer? I mean, it is so crazy. And then back to the incident that happened here in D.C. From my understanding, they said it was a 15-year-old boy who did the shooting. So you on Division Avenue shooting in traffic? I mean, we'll, you'll never know what's going through people's head. And these are young people making these bad mistakes. These are young people that's destroying their lives, other people's lives, and, and stuff. And these are young people not knowing what they're doing. And a baby was thrown in the river by his father. The one star sometimes makes everything. It do. News is so depressing. Yes, girl, they getting younger and younger with these guns in their hand, making life altering decisions that they just don't know how they're affecting their lives, man. They are destroying you not you don't you do not only destroy your life and you go to jail, the person life that you took, you destroy you you destroy two families. Your family because they losing you as a child, never thought, oh my child, do something like this. And then the family who's the victim. No, I'm going to tell you one. They all take the cake. 
But my cousin was telling me about that. Uh, I'm, I'm just because I, I don't I don't like repeating it, but I think we all need to know what's going on out here. I mean, so that we could be careful. And it's so hard to say I want to move here, I want to move there because it's it's crime is everywhere. We got to watch our surroundings everywhere we go, and it's so crazy that. That in the day's time and life that we live in, we have to always be looking over our back. Like we're a criminal. You have to now look over your back like you're a criminal. You, you know, like actual criminals got to look over their back because maybe they, they wanted by the police. Maybe somebody after them. They on the run. I don't want to live my life like I'm on the run. I don't want to live my life as if I'm a criminal where that every time I go out my door, I'm looking over my shoulder because you just don't know. But then, you know, I don't want to do that because I want to walk with faith because I believe in the man upstairs. I believe he got me at any and every time I walk out my door when I open my eyes. And, and that's how I want to live my life. But it's just so sad. And my cousin was telling me about this woman. Her son was a rapist or something. Her son was a rapist. She didn't believe her son committed a crime. He went to jail or whatever, did a time, got out. She backed him up the whole way and everything. Come to find out, don't know how it went down. He beat his mother up. And when she woke up from him beating her up, this Bama was raping his mother. I said, you lying. She said, I lied to you not. She said all the faith this mother put into this boy stood by him going to court through the charges that he had. Didn't want to believe that her child would do something like this. He go to jail, do the time, get out. Whatever happened between them, he beats his mother to a pulp. And as she waking up from that ass whooping, this bam is on top of her raping his mother. Now, come on, y'all. Come on. It, 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 it's beginning to be too much. I don't know what is going on in this world. It is beginning to be too much. That's what I'm saying. Change your mind, change your life. That's what I'm saying. He had, Yes, he did. Change your mind, change your life. I ain't trying to put this on, man, People need, we got to get God out here. People got to get back into having faith. People got to get back into believing where they came from, who brought them here, why they here. They need to get back into, they need to get back into God, man. People got to start having faith because things is just coming down. Oh, my, mm. I'm saying you can't stand the bus stop. You can't do nothing. I'm just like, Oh, it, it, it is so sad to believe that the world can be like this. And, and then the thing is, it's not even the world. It's the people that's in it. It's not the world. People, I know, Ty, and it's, it's crazy. They don't want God no more, but they need him. He, They need him. I'm telling you, they need him. Somebody needed somebody. Need, they need him. Cause it's, we need him more than any, than more than ever now. We we need to send prayers out to people, just people you don't know. We need people need to get uplifted. People need to feel his spirit. People need to get more in tune with him. They need to get into the faith. They need to start believing because this. Cause I don't know what's gonna happen, man. I don't know. We um back in the day, you know, the old day, families with the church every Sunday. They gave praise. I mean. We need to revert back to that fantasy to start going back to bringing our kids back up in the church. And not saying that even they, if they grew up in the church, they, they won't stray and, and they won't get into things and, and they won't have peer pressure. And Because at the end of the day, people are people. We can't control what they do. People are going to do what they set out to do. You go raise the most perfect child into church, into this, into that, saying all the right things, being all respectful. But when you let them loose in their street, we never know. We never know. I'm not saying that's the answer, but I'm saying it's a stepping stone because you just never know. And I'm just like, because no one out here is perfect. You know what I'm saying? And people in a split second will make bad decisions without thinking. 
But I'm just saying, it's not an easy solution. Is it the solution? It's not the solution, but it is a guide. It's a guide. You know what I'm saying? If you put them on a, a path, it, it's a guidance. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll guide them to something. I, I just, and it's like, that's why, and I told my cousin, I said, this is just why I don't watch the news. I can't take this. I got, I say, I'm trying to, you know what I want to be? I told y'all in this life, you got to be happy. You choose your happiness. And from this point on, from 2022 to, to the day I close my eyes permanently on this earth, I choose to be happy. I don't choose to be dumbfounded about what's going on out in these streets because at the end of the day, I want to be mindful of my surroundings. But from this point on, from 2022 to the time God closed my eyes and I am done with this world, I choose to be happy. I choose to have happiness in my life. That's and have faith in God. That's the way I'm going right now. And I'm just like, who breathe, Tanya? Breathe. <laughs> Cause it's not funny, but it's 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 sometimes you gotta laugh to keep from crying. You 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 know what I'm saying? It's not funny at all. It shouldn't even be a laughter coming out my mouth. I shouldn't even be laughing in a tent of what I'm thinking or saying, but sometimes you gotta laugh to keep from crying. You laugh not even knowing you laugh because it's just so much. It's so much. And you're not laughing because you're thinking it's funny, you're laughing because it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's so crazy. So it's not a laughter that I think this is a laughter matter. I'm laughing because I laugh to keep from crying because I'm in disbelief of the world. I am disbelief in disbelief of our babies out here killing our other babies. You know, I'm just in disbelief of the violence and it feel like it's never going to go nowhere. We are moving on and things are changing. We are, we are, we're, you know, like the futuristic pictures when you see that, um, that when you see that, um, um, viruses take the world out and, and pandemics take out the world and you're in a new world order. We are living that now. Why y'all think they made these movies? Because all this stuff that they make in these movies are possibilities to us in real life. We are clearly in one of those type of situations now where a virus came and started taking out our population. You know what I'm saying? You, you food is low in stores. Go to grocery stores. You can't get no food. Shelves are empty. I feel like I'm in a freaking movie that I have seen thousands and thousands of times before. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just like people got to get with it. People, you, you got to. Ooh, that cake smells so good. Hmm. Ooh, that cake smells good. Anyway, it is crazy out here, y'all. It's crazy. Yeah. And, and, and I'm afraid they're not getting it. Yes, he is. And things could be switched up at uh, autumn. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm making that Kentucky butter cake. <laughs> I'm making Kentucky butter cake to take over my to take over my family house for dessert. And then just in the middle of me talking, all of a sudden the cake just like it just like took a whiz this went up a nose. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> uh, I got a video on uh, on Wilma. I got a video on the Kentucky butter cake and the uh, um the ingredients is in the description. <laughs> Um, uh, we have sworn the what we have sworn the world went. Yes, and I choose. You know, I think people we just need to get back. We need to get back. We need to. Um, people need to find God again. It's never too late. Hey, Taylor. Oh, uh, my meal, dry donut. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, and that's how I wanted to touch on because that's been making me feel so sad. And I told everybody, I, I said, don't bring me nothing else. If I'm not watching the news, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. You know, sadly, a week ago, 
I was on the phone with my cousin. Cause I still on the phone with my cousin in Georgia, y'all. She can't wait until I moved down there. She's like, she was like, man, I wish you was here today. And we was talking last night, two o'clock in the morning on the phone. She said, I wish you was here right now. I'd be racing in your house right now. <laughs> I don't eat pig feet, Autumn. I I I I think I never cooked it, but I believe I would know how. Um, because it's only like you do you season it, put the celery and the onions and peppers in it season it and just let them cook until they tender so it, it's it's really pleasing to cook it's really easy to cook it's just some water the pig feet whatever your favorite season in throw in some celery throw in some onions and just cook them until they're nice and tender and always taste them because it's all about flavor anything you cook is about flavor but you'll never see me cook pig feet or chillings on my channel don't do neither one I don't know nothing about it, bird. I told you, I'll be looking at the news. I'm not a fan of the view. So I don't know anything about it. Oh, yeah. And don't put in the vinegar. Thank you. See, I told you I don't cook it in the vinegar. Yeah. Uh, you could go back. My sister law got emergency. Okay, so you could go back um and go hook. I got buffalo wings. I got um buffalo wing video i got um cheese stick i got um cheese stick video and that's crazy hook that you said that and when i was got up on my phone this morning and you know i get the messages when people leave messages on my food channel and and, and this woman left a message on my on my on my cheese stick said i come back to your channel every year to get your to get your mozzarella cheese stick recipe and i said oh thank you and um so yeah i got a mozzarella cheese stick recipe up i got a buffalo wing um recipe um what else i got i got some um um uh, i got do i got a parmesan chicken wing recipe up um so if do you look that up like look, look up soulful tea buffalo wings so look up soulful tea mozzarella cheese sticks that's in there um how a jalapeno dip uh, recipe with a twist. Oh, that sounds interesting. Somebody actually do some jalapeno, how the wrap jalapeno with the cream cheese and the bacon, and you wrap it and put it in the, and put it in there and all that stuff. The oven. Oh yeah. Then I got my rotel dip that's on there. You can go look at that. I got some garlic parmesan chicken. Yeah, I got that recipe on there. Just put my name in front of it. Then put what you want, and they should pop up. Thank you, Hook. Uh, thank you. Um, I really didn't do no Super Bowl recipe this week. Oh, but check out Amateur Cooking Guy. My son, Michael, he got a couple of Super Bowl recipes up. He's new to YouTube, and he's been doing his thing, and I am loving all the support that he's been getting. Um, so, yeah, he actually doing the recipe today. I think he's doing chili and fries today. Oh, excuse me. I think his last Super Bowl, his last Super Bowl recipe today he putting up. I think he doing um, I think he doing chili and fries today. So Amateur Cooking Guys, yeah, go check him out. He got some stuff up too, and he got a chili and fry recipe coming up today. What's up, Demore? The the Damari? That sound good. I messed your name up. I'm sorry, boo. Yes, thank you, Ken. Thank you so much. So. With that being said, y'all, like I said, I don't know what's going on. The weather's changing. I don't want to dread on all the sadness, but you do do now and again got to know what's going on in this world because we got to watch our back when we go out this door. No, we don't want to, but, but we have to. And even though we are walking in faith with God, I still walk in faith with God and I still... <laughs> Can you just call me Miss <laughs> Mr. M Sober C? Yes, Mr. Montgomery, I will. <laughs> um, and even so, you walk with Lord, walk with the Lord, and you have faith in Him. At the end of the day, it takes two of us. He's there for you, but he can't do everything. So at the end of the day, you got him and you got yourself. Pay attention and give him faith. And you know, you should be good. You should be good. Pay attention and give him faith. And that's just how I'm doing. And again, let's choose happiness. Oh, I am. I am. That's tomorrow. And today I'm going over my family house. And, you know, just believe. 
Yes. All right, y'all. So with that being said, because I know I can't stay here long, because I know I'm running behind. I was... Um, movies. I um, if you got Peacock. I talked about this yesterday. If y'all missed the Friday, I was live on Friday last night. If you have Peacock, you know, Peacock and just like HBO Max, just like Paramount, Peacock, Paramount, HBO Max. Always try to go look to those channels if you got those streaming apps to see what's on new. Just because uh, they do those same day at, same day in theater movies. So this week, opening up with Jennifer Lopez because y'all know this is the Valentine's Day weekend. Everything is all about the lovers and everything. So it's Romance Weekend. And Jennifer Lopez is opening up a movie called Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson. It's called Marry Me. It's called Marry Me. I thought it was a great movie. When I say that, I'm not a big fan of her singing. But I love her as an actress. I look at all of her um her movies when it comes to her being in it because she make a lot of romantic nice movies and um her acting skills is really is really really getting out there she's a good actress she really bring it all when she's acting um her own wilson had a good connection in this movie it's a typical movie a four out of five i give it a four stars just because it's a typical um uh, the wrong type of boy with the rich girl and it's never gonna work it's the rooting for the underdog type of movie it's a movie that you know what's gonna happen every next second it's one of those movies that you could figure out okay I know what's going to happen. It's a type of movie you've seen before, but what it gives it is edge is that it's well acted. Even if I know what's going to happen next, they they it's so well acted. It's so put together. All the actors and actress chemistry comes through on screen that you forget that this is a typical romance movie. The type of the type of um type of script you've seen before, but it's it's well put together. I like it. Oh, yeah, I love Discovery Riches. That's my thing. And so I, I give it a four star. Um, J-Lo, um, she has one song in there that I really love that brought me to tears that I want to get on Apple on my way. No, I didn't watch it yet. I missed it. Um, single Black Females. I got to go look at it. It's almost seven degrees in the Carolinas. Day, and that's good weather. And so... um. That's new movie that's out at the movie theater that you can see on Peacock right now. I like it. I thought it was good. I give it a four stars. And then I'm a romantic, okay? I'm the notebook type of girl, okay? So, you know, I'm a romantic, so I'm going to give that. I like the Splendor in the Grass with Natalie Wood from way back when, West Side Story. I'm a romance person. I love those type of movies. So, most definitely, if I, I, I could tell you, go look at it. It's great. I, I thought it was, it was a good job. Um, what else? Um, Raising Dion. We talked about that yesterday. If you're into um Netflix, Raising Dion is back. Sweet Magnolia is back. Um, this Love Is Blind is good. It's back. And then um, the Lady in the Window from the Girl Across the Street. <laughs> Whatever. How this title go? It's so long. I don't know why they could think of a better name than that. But you know that's that seemed to be working itself good. Working, you know, getting good ratings on Amazon. I mean, on um, Netflix. And then you got um, In Out from the Cold. Um, I think that was pretty good. That's I'm I'm and I'm I'm in the middle of watching that right now. So far, it's it's like it's going to be okay. It's doing good. So yeah. Um, Ashante got a movie called Honey Bee, Honey Girl. I actually turned it on, and looked at it yesterday. It wasn't. <sighs> I like her other movie she had on Netflix versus this one she had. This was a teeny boppy movie. Um, this was a little teeny boppy movie with Ashante. It was good. It was something to watch. Do I recommend it? If you're bored and you really need to have something to look at, I say watch it. I gave it. It's for real, real. I'm going to be honest. It's like a two-star movie. Um, what's up? Get that. It, it it it's like a two star movie, but if you trying to find something you ain't got, hey, honey girl, it's a it was a teeny bopper. 
It was. It was just, I thought it was a low budget teeny bopper movie. And to be Netflix with Jackson say, that movie looked low budget. Am I back? Am I back? Who can y'all hear me? Let me know. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> can y'all hear me? Y'all know what happened. <laughs> I forgot. My timer went off on my phone. My cake. And I was like, and then when the timer went off, now there's no picture. I can't. There's no picture. Can't, no, can't see. I might got to go off and come back. The screen is black. Okay. I was trying to fix it. I might got to go off and come, come back. My t I forgot I had the timer on. I had a timer on my cake. My cake went off. And when I had the timer on, my timer popped up on my phone. And it blocked y'all out. So, um, I think I have to go out and come back. So, y'all, I'm going to have to end the stream and come back. And I apologize. 